Hello, welcome to the Reveal Diamond Detector 2S training series. In this video, we will walk through the step-by-step -step setup of your Reveal Diamond Detector 2S device together. We'll download the MyReveal app and create our account. If you're ready, let's get started. As the first step, you need to download the MyReveal app to your device. You can search for MyReveal on the Google Play Store. Alternatively, you can quickly access it by scanning the QR code provided in the guide. When you open the app, you'll see the Sign Up Now option at the bottom of the login screen. If you don't have an account yet, click here and fill out the following information. First name, last name, your email address. Make sure to enter your email address correctly as a verification code will be sent to your email later in the process. Now I'd like to introduce one of the most powerful features of our system, My.JTR Organizations. Organizations is a special system that simplifies working with multiple team members and managing multiple reveal devices. With this system, organization members can share the same device, see who performed each analysis, share analysis results, and accelerate workflows. Organize all your company's devices and analyses under one umbrella. Whether you're in the office or out in the field, users can easily access analyses from their computers or mobile devices. All your devices and analyses are always within reach. This system strengthens communication between teams, as everyone can access the same data in real time, speeding up workflows. Organizations allows you to seamlessly manage reveal devices and analyses across all your company locations. Leverage My.JTR organization system to simplify your operations and achieve complete harmony across your teams. If you are registering for a company, you should use your company email address. This allows the system to automatically detect the organization link to this email address and include you in your company's organization. When you enter your company email address, the system identifies the organization associated with it and displays the information on your screen. This way, you can start working within your company's organization without needing any additional steps during registration. If you want to join an organization using a non-company email address, you must select yes when prompted on the screen with the question, do you want to join a company or organization that already has a JTR account? In this case, the system will ask you to enter the organization key on the next screen. You can obtain the organization key from your company administrator. If your company does not yet have an account in the JTR system, you can enter your company email. The app will verify whether the email domain you've provided is available and not already registered to another organization. When prompted with the question, do you want to join a company or organization that already has a JTR account? Select no. This will allow you to create a new organization account for your company. Since you're not joining any organization, you'll be directed to email verification screen. When you create a new account, you'll receive an organization key, which you can use to invite and add team members to the account. You can manage your organization account and update company details by logging into the My.JTR portal. Important note, when you join an organization, all devices you register will be associated with that organization and accessible to authorized administrators within the organization. If the device you are registering is personal and not related to your organization, it's recommended to create a personal account and register the device under that account instead. If you would like to create a personal account, it is exactly the same as creating a new company account, but this time just enter your personal email. When prompted with the question, do you want to join a company or organization that already has a JTR account? Select no. This will allow you to create a personal account. With a personal account, you can use your Reveal Manager analyses and switch to a company account at any time if needed. The next step is to verify your email address. During the registration process, a verification code will be sent to the email address you provided. Enter this code in the app to confirm your email address. If you don't see the code, check your spam or junk email folder. If the code still hasn't arrived, you can click the Send Again option to request a new one. This step is essential for the security of your account. Once you've entered the code correctly, you'll be directed to a screen where you can set your password. After verifying your email, the next step is to create a password. Make sure to choose a strong password that is difficult to guess for added security. Once your password is successfully set, you can return to the login screen and sign into the system using your credentials. In this video, we walk through the steps to create a user account for your Reveal Diamond Detector 2S. 
If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments, we're here to help. To get the most out of your Reveal device and explore all the features of the My Reveal app, be sure to check out the other training videos on JTR Academy. Need more help or information? Visit JTR.org or email us at revealsupport at JTR.org. We'd love to assist you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on new training content.